Hey guys, you're watching Real Tees Fishing TV, and today we got a quick video on how to remove the carburetors off your Yamaha outboard. So uh, we've already gone ahead in the video previous to this one on how to remove the silencer assembly or the air intake. Uh, that is what it will expose the carburetors. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the carburetors and show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do so. Okay, so we have this here. It's a very uh, important piece. You wanna be very careful with this, not to bend the wire, as all this has a purpose. And right here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the wire from the back, and we're gonna pinch it, and pull it off. Now be careful because this has a tiny little O-ring as I'm going to put it down here and you don't want to lose that part make sure you put that away somewhere so you can put it back together okay the best way to remove that piece right there and you got to be very careful because this is made out of plastic and over time they sometimes get a little brittle especially the the ones that are this white color, these tend to snap off. But get a flathead and you're gonna place it right behind. Just force a little bit of pressure and slowly pop it off. And we're gonna do that to all these. Okay, so moving on to these, I like to put my fingers here and push into the plastic while I'm with this finger, I'm gonna push out and with my thumb, I'm going to push in. Basically, I'm just making sure that the plastic piece does not break off. And then we're gonna do the same. And lastly here, we have the choke. And the choke is basically the same exact piece. We're gonna put some pressure behind it, take care not to bend the wire, and pop it off. And that is it. Once you've gone ahead and removed those, now we can start working on removing the actual carburetors. Okay guys, so we've gone ahead and removed the linkages on this side. We have one more linkage down here. And we'll get to that in a bit. But to remove now your carburetors off your block, it's gonna be four little nuts that we're gonna remove. They're on all four corners of the carburetor and she should just pull right out. Let's get to it. Okay, so once we've gone ahead and removed the four bolts, when you go ahead and pull the carburetor off, you're going to see the fuel attachment. And once you clip that off, it'll come right off.
And now we're going to do the rest. Same exact thing. I'm going to try to do this one handed here. But this piece right here is connected to the lower carburetor. And that piece right there, the way to get this off. Now, this is a very fragile piece. It is a pain if you break it to replace it. A lot of places don't have this part. And it is a vital part to the whole system because it's attached to the oiling mechanism. So to remove this, the easiest way, I'm gonna try to do this one handed here, is basically this piece, you want it to slide upwards. So if I can get this to one handed, it's pretty hard, but there we go. Got it to clip and move upward. Once it moves upward, then you can just piece off. Once that comes off, you can leave that in place and remove the rest of the carburetor. So all the carburetors are off the block and just keep in mind that this right here is an actual gasket. <laughs> Alright guys, here's a little tip so that if you forget what order they were in on your outboard, if these are the original ones, you can just go by this number here. You got B11, B21, and B31. And then from top to bottom, they go in that order. One, I mean 11, 21, 31. 31 being the one all the way at the bottom. All right, guys. So for Yamaha outboards, the ones that have the dual carb set up, uh, they're all pretty much going to be like this one. It doesn't have to be a 200 horsepower um, They whether it's a v4 or v6 They are usually going to be pretty identical to this process here So if you like the video go ahead and give us a thumbs up like subscribe share with your friends uh, It'll help us out. So appreciate it and have a great day